So you know there's been many different apps blocked on your Fire Stick, even I was in denial. And there's more and more notifications coming out, but there's one, there's one old school streaming app that they will not be blocking. And it's been around for a long time and it's on many platforms and it's still one of the best. It has one of the best codecs in it for watching videos. It's probably one of the best actually movie players and streaming players and video players. Actually a video player you can use within other streaming apps to make it work even better, keep audio in sync, keep time in sync. It's one of the best media players you can get. And yes, you guessed it, it's Kodi, K-O-D-I. They will not be blocking Kodi because, because Kodi itself doesn't actually have any content within it. It's a media player. You can obviously get your builds, your add-ons, your plugins, and it's designed for you to play your own media as well. I'm sure you've all heard of Kodi. And I'm gonna show you how to easily install the latest version on your Fire Stick or your Android device, your mobile phone, and we're gonna do it really simply. Before we get started, make sure you hit that follow button. I'll keep you up to date with all your streaming news and content. And if you do need a VPN, you can either comment VPN and I'll paste you the link underneath or check the link underneath in the description and pinned comment. This will help you keep safe online. It's very good to try and reduce that internet service provider throttling you, and it's always good for your privacy. So let's get this Kodi installed and we're gonna get the latest version. This video will always work for the latest version. Have you been using Kodi as well? Let me know in the comments. So what you're gonna do on your Fire Stick, you're gonna to go to the magnifying glass and you're gonna type in here, you're gonna type Fire Send, F-I-R-E. This is the quickest and easiest way to get it. Type in Fire Send. See Fire Send here, purple icon, click it and install it. Get that installed. Once it's installed, same as you would with any installer, you're gonna to pop to your settings. Once in your settings, you go to My Fire TV and you would go to Developer Options. If you don't have Developer Options, you go to About and you click on the top option seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will make you a developer. So when you go back a screen, you can pop in your Developer Options. You can turn your ADB debugging on and install unknown apps. You can turn it on for Fire Send, okay? When you're in here, it's worth checking that nothing's installing when it shouldn't be. You would have it on for Fire Send, yes. You would have it on for Aptoid if you have it, yes. Cinema, no, that should definitely not be on. And this is why apps like that can be dodgy. Okay, download it, yes. So get those turned on. Then you're gonna go back to that Fire Send app you just installed. So if you see it on your screen, you've got it. If not, you go to your apps, you click on my apps, find Fire Send, the purple icon and open it. If any permissions pop up, make sure you grant those permissions. And once in here, it was a lot about it and it's brilliant. So it would tell you if you're protected anyway, but we're not doing that. We're just getting this app today. So go down to where it says rooms, click on join room, and just type in here K-O-D-I. And this room will always have the latest Kodi in it. So no codes needed as such, no URLs, just type in K-O-D-I, it will join the room. And in here, you will see the different apps available for you. 21.3 is the latest currently. Um, I'm gonna reword that slightly because you can't see which is which version, so I'll remove the word Omega. But the first one is the 32 bit. You'll be able to see that by the time you do this. So click that, there we go. Omega 32-bit, 32-bit for a Fire Stick or an Android device, 64-bit for other devices. So we'll let that install. And there we go, that will download for you and you click install. Bear with it, the servers are extremely busy at the minute because this app is growing fast. So obviously Fire Send itself is more and more popular every day because it's so easy to download and install it. Once you've got it installed, you can click open or done. Um, I'll click done because I've already got a version installed. If you've got a version installed, um, you might want to remove it beforehand if it doesn't install properly and then you can just go down and open it up I'm not going to open it up on my device, but I already have my KODI installed But again, if you have any issues when you do download it, just uninstall the one you've got and then reinstall again downside is Version to version depending on where you got it from it could possibly override it But make sure you're checking and you know what you're doing beforehand if it's a brand new install Just download it and you'll stay safe and you'll be able to use that KODI then you want to get yourself on the internet, search for how to use it. There's loads of how-to guides. Uh, the likes of Troy Point has loads of guides, I believe, on builds and add-ons if you need them, so check him out. Um, I'm just here for the install guides. 
and I've been Doc Squiffy. So if you need that VPN, check underneath. Nice, simple video for you. Hit that follow button and I'll see you on the next one.